the St. Lucie County Education Channel presents Camcorder Basics Video Tutorial For this tutorial we will be using the Panasonic AG DVC20 camcorder. This is a professional style camcorder. It gives high quality results with easy to use controls. Lesson 1 Powering Up The camcorder can be powered either by battery or the AC adapter. You will want to make sure the battery is charged before you begin videotaping. To charge the battery you will need to use the AC adapter. Plug the AC adapter into an available electrical outlet. The red indicator light will let you know you have power. You should notice that the battery has metal contacts that must be lined up with the contacts on the adapter. On the top of the battery is an arrow. Slide the battery onto the adapter following the direction of the arrow. The AC adapter's charge light will light up. When this light goes off, the battery is completely charged and ready for use. Now let's install the battery on the camera. The camcorder's battery holder has metal contacts at the bottom and an arrow to indicate the direction in which the battery needs to be installed. Place the battery in the holder with the arrow facing down. Slide the battery until it clicks into place. To remove the battery from the camera, press the button above the battery. Slide the battery up and pull out. You may get up to 2 hours and 40 minutes of record time from a battery when you use only the camera viewfinder. If you use the LCD screen, you will shorten your battery life to around an hour and 20 minutes. Now these times are just estimates. So for long recording times, you'll probably want to charge extra batteries. When you change batteries, you're going to have to stop recording and power off the camera. If you're recording something like a stage performance, you're going to lose part of your recording when you power off the camera. So for long recordings, it's recommended to power the camera with electricity instead of the battery. And here's how you do that. The AC adapter comes with a connector cable which will plug directly into the camera. Both ends are alike. One goes in the AC adapter. Remove the battery from the camera and place the other end into the battery holder. Now you can power with electricity. The last step in powering up is to turn the camera on. Located on the same side of the camera as the battery holder is the power on switch. It's conveniently located by the hand grip. Slide the power switch to the on position. A red indicator light above the switch will come on. And the viewfinder will light up. Lesson 2. Loading the videotape. The Panasonic DVC-20 uses Mini-DV video cassettes. Mini-DV video cassettes record digitally. They produce high quality images and sound that can be transferred directly from the camera to a computer for editing. The tape shown will record for 63 minutes in standard play mode. The tape compartment is located on the same side of the camera as the power switch. The videotape can be loaded with the camera power on or off as long as a battery or AC power is attached. Begin by sliding the lever to open the cassette cover. When the cassette cover is opened all the way, the cassette holder will automatically come out. The cassette holder is a motorized device. Do not interfere with its operation in any way or you may damage your camera. To load the videotape in the cassette holder, hold the tape with the words facing you, turn the tape upside down and slide it into the cassette holder. Push the silver cassette holder close. 
the motorized device will automatically load the video cassette into the camera. When it's completely finished, then you can push the cassette cover closed. On the viewfinder, the flashing red missing tape indicator will change to a green pause symbol indicating you're ready to record. Lesson 3. Simple Recording The simplest method to begin recording is to let the camera take care of all the technical settings necessary to record a good picture. This can be done by selecting the Auto Record Mode. The switch for this is under the LCD screen. In Auto Record Mode, the camera will automatically set the white balance. White balance adjusts the camera colors to the available light, which could possibly be sunshine, incandescent bulbs, or fluorescent lighting. The camera will also automatically adjust the focus. To record in auto mode, check to be sure the camera VCR switch located under the LCD screen is set to camera. Let's take a moment to look at the writing on your viewfinder. The viewfinder will display for you many of your camera functions and settings. The same display will appear on the LCD monitor. To open the LCD monitor, push the open button and swing the monitor out. When the monitor is completely extended, the viewfinder will go off. Remember, using the LCD monitor will shorten the operating time for the battery because it uses more power. In the top corner, the red icon indicates that the camera is in camera mode. The camera is ready to record the image coming through the lens. Under the red icon is the letter R with numbers. This is the remaining record time on the tape. When it gets under three minutes, it will blink to warn you that you are running out of tape. The letters SP stand for standard play, which will create the highest quality recording on your tape. In standard play, you will not be able to record for a longer period of time than what is written on the videotape. In our example, it was 63 minutes. The time counter is next. As you record, the screen will display the recording time in hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. The battery indicator displays the charge level of the battery. The white lines will disappear as the battery discharges. When the battery level indicator begins to flash, you are extremely low on power and need to change the battery before the camera powers off. The word auto indicates that you are using the auto record mode and the camera will electronically adjust to your shooting conditions, including automatically focusing. In the middle of the screen, you may see a flashing red tape icon if you do not have a videotape loaded in the camera. With the videotape in the camera, you will see a green pause indicator or a red record icon. At the bottom of the screen is an audio level indicator. It will light from left to right according to how much sound is coming into the camera microphone. The on-camera microphone is located on the front of the camera under the viewfinder. If the mic level appears too low, level indicator is barely moving, you should move closer to the source of sound to get better audio. If the level indicator appears to always move into the red, your sound is too loud and may be distorted. Monitoring the information on the viewfinder will help you during your recording session. You will know when you are running low on tape and power. One last camera adjustment you should be familiar with before you begin recording is the zoom control. The zoom control will help you frame your picture. 
The zoom control is located above the hand grip and is labeled with a W for wide angle and a T for telephoto. Wide angle establishes your scene. Zooming in for a close-up telephoto establishes intimacy with the audience. This camera has a 10 times optical zoom lens. This times number shows up in your viewfinder as you use the zoom lever. Now that you have powered on, loaded the videotape, checked camera settings, remove the lens cap. This cap protects the lens from dirt and damage. Use your viewfinder or LCD screen and zoom lever to frame your shot and you are ready to record. To record, press the red record button located below the power on switch on the hand grip. Your LCD monitor will flash the word record and a red record icon will be displayed. To stop recording, press the record button again and the camera will return to pause. Reviewing your work. There are two possibilities to review your recording in the camera. The first is a brief record check. The camera will display the last few seconds of your recording so you are confident that the camera is operating properly. You can perform this brief record check while the camera is still in the pause mode. Using the cursor buttons under the LCD screen, press the button in the middle two times until the LCD screen looks like this. The tape playback indicator on the button is what we want to use, so press the down arrow cursor button once. The camera will then display the last few seconds of your recording in the monitor. Then it will return to pause where you left off recording. The camera can also be used as a VCR and will play back your entire recording through the LCD viewfinder if you wish. To do this, you must change from the camera mode to playback mode using the camera VCR switch under the LCD monitor. When you slide the switch to VCR, your monitor will turn to a blue screen and cursor controls will appear in the lower right hand corner. These indicate the functions of the cursor buttons on the camera. Top is pause or play, right is fast forward, left is reverse, and bottom is stop. You can rewind your recording and play it back. You will also be able to hear your audio through the built-in speaker. The tiny holes are the speaker. When you've completed your project, you'll want to remove your videotape. First, look at the viewfinder to see that your camera is in pause and not recording. Slide the lever to open the cassette cover. When the cassette cover is opened all the way, it will trigger the cassette holder to automatically open. Remove your cassette tape. Push the silver cassette holder closed. The motorized device will automatically retract into the camera. When it's finished, push the cassette cover closed. Now would be a good time to label your video cassette with information on your recording session. Video cassette tapes may be recorded over many times. To protect your recording from accidentally being recorded over, slide the safety tab on the side of the tape in the direction of the safe arrow. You can always re-record over this tape by sliding the tab back to the record side. This completes your Camcorder Basics tutorial. Now it's time to shoot some video.